So there's uh, Sue working away, working hard, sorting out the clothing. We're nearly at the finish here now of what we got at the moment. Uh, we just got some bags left here, a few more up the top there, and we'll have them sorted out. Myself and Sue would sort out 20 bags here in an hour some nights. Um, and just want to give you a brief uh, look at the way we're going to be organising ourselves going forward. We're going to be taking a short break. We're going to take less. We, we, I mean, if still people bring stuff to us in Carlow, that's fine. That's no problem. But we won't be collecting stuff around the country for, for a little while until we restructure ourselves and get this to a fine tune. But as you can see here, we've got some nice, uh, very nice uh, sports stuff. Um, uh, that Because sports is an extremely important uh, part of uh, alleviating poverty around the world. So that's going to our friends in the rugby club in Romania. Uh, here we got trousers, uh, seven plus. It's always a huge problem trying to get clothing for 14, 15 year olds because uh, they wear out the clothing. Some of the clothing we may get wouldn't be a good enough quality. Uh, it might be dirty or torn and we don't want that. Uh, sevens, tops plus. Um, trousers, uh, two to six years. Tops, two to six years. Uh, not to two year old uh, clothing and then we pack it in these bigger boxes here uh, you can see children's tops um, we got some really nice adult clothing there some people have donated as well so it's going to be all put in these uh, big boxes and ready for shipping um, there's a pallet that we've already made it's ready to go um, there would be approximately 3500 uh, items of clothing in there a little less because of some uh, push chairs and pans on the top. Um, some nice coats there. Uh, so that's what we're down to and where we're left at at the moment. Um, we got uh, when we started off this uh, in 2014, we started off in our house. We only meant it to be very small. Our house got filled with stuff. Uh, we didn't. We had no organisation. You couldn't. You can't organise yourself when you don't have room around you. Then we moved to a shop and a kind of a place in, in the town, uh, thanks to Maura Finland from Carlow Property Management, and she donated a, let us use a place there for several months. Um, again, we filled it to the ceiling, no organisation. Then we took everything from there to here, and it grew even faster, and stuff was coming like a tsunami. And even faster this year, a lot, a lot of stuff came in this year. Um, we've collected and distributed, donated, uh, three million items of clothing in two and a half, uh, two and a half years. Um, so it's a huge amount being done, but we need to slow down a little bit. If people bring their stuff still to Carlo, that's okay, that's no problem with it at all, but we won't be going around the country collecting. So keep, uh, keep supporting us. Uh, we need to restructure and to plan ourselves better here, make some comparisons so that all this stuff is um, separated so that when we ship it, that it goes uh, on the other side, when they open the boxes or the bags, they they know what they have exactly rather than a big bag of clothes or whatever. Not that we ever did that, but we need to organize it better and be a lot more professional about the way we're going forward. So thanks very much. Keep uh, keep supporting us.